What's up, guys? Neil Orfield here taking a look at Stochastic's NFL DFS lineup generator for tonight's Monday Night Football showdown slate between the Giants and the Seahawks. While you're coming in, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And if you haven't already checked out the lineup generator, you can do so for just $14.95. The link is going to be in the description of this video or in my tweet if you're on Twitter. Uh, again, it's going to be just $14.95 and every single lineup you're going to get in the lineup generator is going to be a plus EV lineup. They've all been run through the stochastic sims and ev every negative EV lineup, long-term lineup that's not expected to be profitable has been thrown out. So every single lineup you're going to get here is expected to be profitable over the long term. And of course, you can play both the main slate and showdown. So if you sign up today, today is Monday, you're going to get tonight's game. You're also going to get uh, the Sunday game, the Thursday night football game. And you can also you know, start prepping for the following Monday as well using the lineup generator. So check it out if you haven't already done so. Again, it's $14.95 per week. Great deal here. All right, we're going to start by taking a look at some DraftKings lineups, and I'm just going to go through mm -hmm. until I find three lineups that look like the types of lineups that I like to play, which are typically lineups that are going to be pretty contrarian, that are not going to be duped a lot. So I'm going to start on DraftKings, and I'm just going to go straight to contrarian lineups because those are the types of lineups I like to play. I want to play lineups that are not going to be duped a ton. Now, one cool thing about the showdown lineup generator in particular is you can choose a game script so you can say both teams are going to go over their total that's this top button here both teams are going to go under their total one's going to go over one's going to go under etc etc whatever game script you want to choose you can choose it here in the lineup generator for the showdown sites so very cool i'm just going to go with standard projections though all right first lineup we have here projects for nearly 86 fantasy points projects really well here uh, looking at the correlation. So I'm typically just concerned with quarterbacks here. When I'm looking at correlations, there are plenty of correlations that you can factor in, but I think the mandatory ones revolve around the quarterbacks because every passing play, the receiver outscores the quarterback. The quarterbacks are generally also pretty expensive. So typically you're going to want to be pairing your quarterbacks on these showdown slates uh, unless they are great rushing quarterbacks. Here we have Daniel Jones, who is a great rushing quarterback. So he actually could be played naked in the flex i still prefer to pair him with at least one pass catcher just trying to reduce the number of things you need to get right we've got him paired here with darius Slayton, so that looks really nice uh we also have geno smith in here paired with three of his pass catchers. so we got geno smith with dk metcalf noah fant and tyler lockett this makes a lot of sense to me if you're expecting the game you know uh daniel jones targets going to be concentrated to darius Slayton. maybe darius Slayton puts up 100 yards and a touchdown has uh, several receptions He's going to go off uh, and outscore Daniel Jones that case. So I like this. This looks like it correlates really well. And then from a uniqueness standpoint, we have a 5% owned Darius Slayton in the captain spot. Really like that. Uh, just 12% ownership going to Noah Fan. Otherwise, the lineup very chalky. But leaving 2200 on the table, I would not expect this lineup to be duplicated a ton. So I like this lineup quite a bit. I think this looks like a really nice lineup. So that's, there's one that I would use. All right, second lineup we have... Daniel Jones in the captain spot. Now Darius Slayton in the flex. We've got Geno Smith once again with paired with Noah Fant. Also, Kenneth Walker could be considered a pass catcher. Uh, not, you know, not a primary pass catcher, but uh, you could throw him in there as well. And then the Seahawks defense. I like this lineup for a couple of reasons. Uh, so, so it projects pretty similar to the last one. The correlation is there. Daniel Jones in the captain. Typically, for a non-rushing quarterback, I'd like to have multiple pass catchers in the flex when I have the quarterback in the captain spot. But Daniel Jones rushed for over 700 yards last year. Certainly viable to play him in the captain spot with just one pass catcher. So totally fine having just Darius Slayton here. And then, as I said, we've got Gino with Noah Fant. So everything is good from a correlation standpoint. We're also leaving 1,600 on the table. So that might help in terms of being unique. We've got a fairly low owned Noah Fant. And then another uniqueness factor, we have a quarterback in the captain spot with the opposing defense. I don't think a lot of people are going to have the Seahawks defense in lineups where they have Daniel Jones in the captain spot. So I think that from a uniqueness standpoint, this works out uh, from a correlation standpoint. I like the correlations. I'm not worried about the defense here because, again, say the Seahawks get a pick six. Daniel Jones loses one fantasy point and gets the ball right back in a game script that is likely to be a little bit more favorable to him so i don't mind having the seahawks down there with daniel jones in the captain spot i like this lineup everything about it looks really nice and lower ownership than the last one as well is a bonus so i'll save that one that's the second lineup that i would use all right this third lineup we've got kenneth walker first of all projects for 81 fantasy points so still kind of in the same range as the other ones we've been looking at we've got kenneth walker in the captain spot 
at 9% ownership. That looks good. Uh, we have Daniel Jones in this one paired with Daniel Bellinger and Paris Campbell, really low ownership on Daniel Bellinger. So that looks nice. And then we have Geno Smith in here with Tyler Lockett. I like it. Everything correlates well in this lineup. Also leaves 3,200 on the table. That is very helpful. Nothing about this lineup that I don't like. I think this makes a lot of sense. So right away, just going to the contrarian lineups. I find three right away that look like the types of lineups that I like to play in showdown to try to avoid duplication. And if the lineup works out, it's going to win a lot of money. So those are three lineups that I would like. Now I'm just going to go through and save as many lineups as it let me. Lately, it's been giving us uh, some bonus lineups. It's been letting us save 40 lineups instead of just 20. We'll see if it is still uh, still still allowing us to do that. Pretty nice to be able to save 40 lineups at once and then maybe... All right, this one, yeah, it allowed us to get up to 40. All right, so we got our 40 lineups in there. Now let's just take a look at the exposures. Nice thing, once you've saved all of your lineups, you can see your exposures to each individual player. Geno Smith, our highest exposed player here at 53%. Daniel Jones, 47%. Makes sense. Quarterbacks on the showdown slate, generally going to look pretty good here. Seahawks defense, 35%. That is kind of interesting to see that much Seahawks defense. We've got uh, Giants running back Gary Brightwell, who was very involved uh, i shouldn't say very involved in the last game i think he had four carries in the last game so he's at least involved in the last game with saquon barkley out of there he's 4.8 k looks good here uh the cheaper cheaper than matt Breda, who's 6.4 k they split the carry i think they each got four carries in the last game um Breda, i believe was a little bit more involved overall in terms of like snaps um but both look okay here for the salaries got metcalf and lockett both showing up uh darius slayton as well Looks good from a from an exposure standpoint. Pretty spread out here. All right, let's take a look at some FanDuel lineups as well. Now I'm going to do FanDuel single game. I'm going to do contrarian lineups once again, and I'm just going to go standard projections again. All right, first lineup we see here on FanDuel, we've got Geno Smith in the MVP spot with JSN, and then the Seahawks defense. We have Daniel Jones with Darius Light, and so everything looks good from a correlation standpoint. On DraftKings, I'd be, I think you can play Geno Smith in the MVP spot or the captain spot on DraftKings. He did does rush for over uh, 20 yards per game, at least last year he rushed for over 20 yards per game. So he, he has shown some rushing upside. I'd still on DraftKings, I'd prefer to have at least two pass catchers more often than not, not always, but uh, most often I like to have multiple pass catchers from the Seahawks if I have Geno Smith in the captain spot. On FanDuel, though, it's just half point per reception, so I think it's certainly even more viable on FanDuel uh, to have Smith in the MVP spot with just one pass catcher, and that's what we have here, Smith with JSN, and then in, we've got uh, Daniel Jones with Darius Slayton as well, and then the Seahawks defense. Nobody's super low owned in this lineup. The lowest ownership we have is just 16% going to Geno Smith in the MVP spot. However, we're leaving 4,500 on the table here. So I think this is going to be a unique lineup. Uh, probably not going to be duped a ton despite not having anybody who's super unique individually. We end up with a unique combination of players. So I like this lineup quite a bit. There is one that I would use. Second lineup, we've got Geno Smith with Noah Fant now. Daniel Jones with... Darius Slayton, and then Gary Brightwell, the running back. Again, nobody who's super low owned. Noah Fant, I guess, at 9%. So a little bit lower than anybody who had in the last one. And this one leaving 6,000 on the table. Looks really nice. This looks like a lineup that I would use as well. All right, now we have Kenneth Walker in the MVP. Then we have Daniel Jones in the flex with Darius Slayton and Wandell Robinson, and then Matt Breda in there for the Giants as well. Nobody super low owned. Kenneth Walker at just about 10% ownership in the MVP spot. So that's kind of nice. 11% ownership going to Wandell Robinson. I like that as well. And then we are leaving 2,500 on the table, uh, which I think is enough. That this would be not duplicated a ton. Probably going to see some dupes for this lineup, but it's not going to be duplicated, you know, hundreds of times. So I like this lineup. There we go. Just go to the contrarian lineups. I'm finding the lineups that I like right away in those contrarian buckets. Now I'm just going to go through and save as many lineups as it lets me check take a look at our exposures at the end seventy two percent Daniel Jones that makes sense this is just a half point per reception instead of full point Daniel Jones picks up fantasy points on the ground and through the air uh, he's gonna project really well so seventy two percent Daniel Jones makes sense actually I'm curious now with seventy two percent in the flex for Daniel Jones how much do we get of him in the MVP also? 
Maybe we didn't get to any. Okay, we didn't uh, appear to get to any Daniel Jones in the MVP. So we just have 72% Daniel Jones there. Maybe a little bit too chalky uh, in the MVP spot to make it into the contrarian lineups. And then we have uh, 60% Geno Smith in the MVP spot and 38% Kenneth Walker in the MVP spot. So those two of our better contrarian MVP options on FanDuel today. We also have 42% of the Seahawks defense. 42% 42% DK Metcalf, 33% Matt Breda, 30% Darren Waller. Everything looks good from an exposure standpoint. So there you have it, making some nice lineups. I think that's my way to play using the lineup generator. I think I'm really liking these contrarian lineups. I'm not choosing a game script typically, but uh, that's something you could consider doing as well. No matter what bucket you choose, though, you're going to find lineups that are expected to be profitable over the long term. Doesn't matter which. Uh, option you choose you're going to find only plus ev lineups so just choose whichever whichever way you think the game is going to go that's the way i'd recommend playing or or just you know letting letting the projections do their thing just make sure things correlate uh the way that i did in this video all right that's going to do it for me here again hit the like button if you haven't already done so and make sure you use the link in the description of this video when you sign up again it's just 14.95 per week to use the lineup generator and i think it's a fantastic tool so check it out if you haven't already done so good luck to